Hey there, my name is Hunter Enright. I'm a Blueprint MCAT instructor, tutor, and all around just a pre-med nerd, and I'm here to talk to you today about flashcards. How to use them, why to use them, why are they so popular? Without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Flashcards, why use them, right? MCAT flashcards, and not just MCAT flashcards, but flashcards in general have been around forever. They are super popular. Why do students love them so much? Why do instructors love recommending them so much? It's because they are a tried and true method for memorizing just bite-sized little pieces of information, okay? This is your rote memorization, and yes, I will say it a million times. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The MCAT is not just a memorization and a regurgitation test. You can't just memorize facts and blah, uh, here's my 528, right? It is a critical thinking test. However, you still do need to have a lot of information memorized to do that critical thinking. And this is where flashcards come in handy. Any of those bite-sized little facts that you need to know, equations, amino acids, psych soch definitions, all of those lend themselves perfectly to memorization via flashcards. Not only that, but they are one of the least cumbersome ways of studying for the MCAT. When you're chilling 30 minutes before bed, you're just kind of hanging out, you're scrolling, which you shouldn't be because you're prepping for the MCAT and there's no time for scrolling. It's a little late to crack open a text book and tackle a chapter or to watch a really complicated in-depth video when you're just like all snug in bed. Instead, why don't you just crack open your flashcards and do like 30 minutes of that? Memorize a couple equations near there. Are you on your way to work doing some public transit? Boom, you can do some flashcards while you're waiting there. Let's talk about how to use flashcards. Remember, flashcards, less is more when it comes to a flashcard. They shouldn't be little mini versions of an entire study sheet. I don't want you writing a whole wall of text on the back of your flashcard. That isn't very efficient and it's not very useful when it comes to just your quick flashcards. Flashcards. It's in the name, flashcards. It's just a quick little flash of information that you're trying to memorize. One thing on the front, couple things on the back, you're done, get in, get out. Tragic mistake a lot of my students make is they make their flashcards. And I go, hey, are you making flashcards as you're like studying? Oh yeah, 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 totally, okay, awesome. When's the last time you reviewed your flashcards? And it's been a few weeks, right? Don't fall for that trap. Study your flashcards almost every day. They're like the smallest, least cumbersome way to study for the MCAT, right? You should be able to squeeze those in wherever, whenever. You should be reviewing your flashcards, honestly, on a daily basis and use something called spaced repetition. So spaced repetition is a method of studying things that more or less pushes the stuff that you need to study the most to the forefront and the things that you already have memorized and they're solid, solid-ish, right? Those kind of get pushed to the back and you don't review them as often. This is how I did flashcards. And now I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm rocking gray hair, okay? And so I'm ancient essentially. And I had physical flashcards. So what I did, I'd sit down, I would go through all of them. If I didn't know what was on the back of one of my flashcards, I no idea. It would go in like a leftmost pile and that was my, I have absolutely no clue pile. If I kind of knew what it was, I had the general concept, but maybe I was off by a couple things or my equation wasn't quite right. I said it was squared when it really it was cubed or something like that. It would go in my middle pile, which is like, I kind of know this stuff, sort of, but not quite there. And then if I absolutely totally had something memorized, it would go in my far right pile. And that was my, I 100% got this down. Keep those piles where they are and review these piles on a daily basis, right? The pile that is, I have no idea idea what these are, you're going to review those every single day. It shouldn't take you that long, probably like, I don't know, 15-ish minutes or so, depending on how many you got, but just kind of review, go through them, etc. And if you get it right, then it goes to your middle pile. It gets promoted a pile. And then you're going to go through that middle pile every two, three-ish days or so. And if you get those ones right, hey, they get promoted again to your, I totally know this pile, right? But the opposite is true as well. You're gonna be reviewing your, I totally know this pile like once a week, if that, maybe once every week and a half, two weeks. And if you forgot anything in that pile, it gets demoted. And then if you forget something from the middle pile again, it gets demoted even further. So it's this ever living, ever changing pile of flashcards of like, I totally know this stuff. I kind of know this stuff. I don't really know this stuff. And by doing your flashcards in this way, it kind of like forces you to cover the material that you're least comfortable with more frequently. And therefore you're gonna memorize it faster. So last but not least, least like I am talking about all this a because flashcards are amazing B because I want all of my students and even not my students I just want all pre-med students in general to succeed on the MCAT you know you want some flashcards you know that they're gonna be helpful you know they're gonna be useful but you're not really sure how to start well listen up because this is 100% for you blueprint has our own set of flashcards. Hey, by popular demand, we've heard so many students say, man, I wish Blueprint had some flashcards. Holy cow, Blueprint, your resources are awesome, but you're missing flashcards. And so we made our own flashcards and they are fantastic. Not only because I work for Blueprint, I mean, full disclosure, I told you I was a Blueprint instructor, so of course I think our stuff is awesome. But even independent of that, if I had never met Blueprint before and someone just handed me our flashcards, I'd be like, these are pretty good flashcards. Let me tell you what, they are digital. They are written by a tried and true, trusted source. We have a content team of brilliant individuals that sat down and went, 
All right, what is the most high yield topics that we can put on a flashcard for students? So we have equations, amino acids, formulas, functional groups. We've got all that high yield stuff. We've got fantastic explanations, great visuals attached to them. Plus, you know that it comes from Blueprint instead of like some random deck that you've downloaded from somebody that prepped for the MCAT like five, six, seven, ten 10 years ago, right? So there's a whole bunch of different reasons why you should check it out. But the big one is that they're incredibly easy to use, right? We spent a tremendous amount of time just making sure that they are curated for you, that they're easy to use and that really they're just the best ones around. So there you go. That is it. That is Hunter's helpful hints on flashcards, right? Look at that alliteration. And remember, I've said this over and over and over again. The MCAT does not reward you for having content memorized. It expects you to have content memorized and then it expects you to build off of that. So these flashcards are a great way to build that foundation for your prep. So check them out. I promise you won't be disappointed. If you want to download them, go to MCATflashcards.com super easy to remember that is mcatflashcards.com or you can just click the link in the description below thank you guys so much good luck and happy prepping i personally use flashcards all the time i told you i am ancient i have gray hair i have a box of physical flash you know what i have a oh god no oh jeez oh winston i know the world is big and scary and you are small. Oh geez. Oh man.